Hello Malindi. Hello Mombasa. Hello Voi. Kibwezi. Machakos. Kitengela. Nairobi. Karatina. Nyeri. Nakuru. Kericho. Kisumu. Isiolo. Mandera. Eldred. Everybody in Kenya and the entire world. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the University of Nairobi. The Department of Chemistry is one of the constituent departments in the School of Physical Sciences, which is part of the College of Biological and Physical Sciences. We are headed by our chairman, Professor John Onyari. There are three main thematic areas in the department, namely physical and industrial chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic, analytical and environmental chemistry. Graduates of our program find employment in a vast area of industries, such as the biotechnology sector, the consumer industries, the chemical industries such as cement industries, sugar industries and paint industries. They also find employment in the government agencies, such as GARI, KEFRI, KEMFRI, Government Chemist, Public Health, Ministry of Water and Irrigation. Our graduates play a vital role in contributing towards our government's endeavor to attain its Vision 2030 objectives. Let me take you through some of the facilities we have in the department. Come along with me. This is one of our general laboratories where our undergraduate students, who include first years, carry out experiments to test out theories that they have learned in class. Chemistry is a practical subject, and we endeavor to have our students test out the principles learned in class in an experimental situation. This is the Department of Chemistry's Detergent Production Unit. Over here we make various detergents, we make shampoos and other products. This is where we turn our chemistry knowledge into actual products. Products that can be used out in the market. I hope you'll come and join us here and be able to assist us in making an even wider range of products. Thank you. This is one of our research laboratories where our students and staff carry out advanced research that seeks to address problems that confront our society. Indeed, this is where chemistry provides solutions to humanity. The Department of Chemistry offers several undergraduate degree programs. We have one which is called Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, where a student takes chemistry and another subject. 
There is Bachelor of Science Chemistry major, whereby a student will start off doing a, a mixture of three uh, subjects. And then in the third and fourth years, they will major in chemistry. We have another program, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. And again, another undergraduate program, Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry. And finally, we have a Bachelor of Science degree in Analytical Chemistry. All these programs are available to our students to choose as they may wish, of course, depending on availability of uh, places, if you had not originally been selected for them. I think at this juncture, I need to familiarize you with the vocabulary that we use at the university. At the high school level, you talked of terms, you talked of uh, subjects, etc. At the university, the vocabulary slightly changes, and I'd like us to understand it so that as I explain uh, the courses, you'll be familiar with them. Instead of terms that you use in high school, we use semester. At the university, we have two semesters, which would have been equivalent to two terms. So this program that you're starting now is the first semester. It will be followed by a second semester. Let me also familiarize us with the examination requirements. In order to pass a particular program, you must score at least 40%. The total mark is made up of 30% from continuous assessment tests and 70% in the final exam. It is important that one follows the prescribed degree program by taking the units pertaining to that particular program. Mixing of units is not allowed. If you have any issues, please get in touch with the department. We will give you guidance. There is a special category of students who are admitted into the university bearing the code registration I-20. The I-20 students are admitted into the university to do a Bachelor of Science degree. Under the Bachelor of Science degree program, you have various options. The coding for this program is normally referred to as a four, uh, a four, three, two, two program or a four, three, one, one program. And I will explain this to you in a short while. The four represents the number of different departments from which you will select your courses in the first year. That is a fast four. The second digit three represents the number of courses, departments rather, that you'll select courses from in your second year. The third digit two represents the number of departments that you'll select courses from in your third year. And the final two is the number of departments from which you can select your courses in your final fourth year. If you're pursuing a 4311 program, then the number of departments from which you'll be selecting courses is slightly different. And I'll, I'll explain to you uh, that in a short while. Let us finish up with the 4322. In year one, you're supposed to select courses from four departments. And this is how they are distributed. If you're coming 
to the Department of Chemistry and indeed you desire to study chemistry, then one of the four departments from which you'll be selecting uh, units from is the Department of Chemistry. The second unit from which you can you are to select uh, units from is what is referred to as the Board of Common Undergraduate Courses. The final two is up to you to choose. You may choose from uh, the following departments, physics, geology, meteorology, geography, any courses from the biological sciences, zoology or botany, and finally courses from the school of mathematics. So for example, you may, you may have chosen uh, chemistry as one of the departments, Board of Common Undergraduate Courses as your second department, your third department is physics, and your final department is geology, for example. You have your four departments. Kindly note the following. If you're going to pursue chemistry, then you must select units from the chemistry department and you must select units from the Board of Common Undergraduate Courses. The final two departments, it's for you to select depending on your future career aspirations. The total number of units that you do in your first year are 12. Three from each of the departments that you would have selected from. These three units are pre-described. Kindly consult the relevant departments to know which units to select from. Let us go on to the second I-20 degree option, the 4311 option. In this particular case, four departments in your first year, three departments in your second year, one department in your third year, and one department in your fourth year. Since you're con concentrated on first year, I will deal with the four in first year. If you want to pursue chemistry as a major program in your final year, that is in your third and fourth year, you're going to study chemistry, then in your first year, you select chemistry as one of the departments, Board of Common Undergraduate Courses as the other department because these two are compulsory. The third department must be mathematics. These, I repeat, are for those students who will want to major in chemistry in your third year and in your fourth year. You must select chemistry Board of Common Undergraduate Courses and Mathematics as a choice of your three departments. The fourth department in your first year may be chosen from Mathematics, which is normally referred to as Mathematics B, Physics, Geology, Meteorology, the Biological Sciences, or Geography and Environmental Studies. Again, you'll be selecting three units from these select departments to make a total of 12 units for your first year. Students who join the University of Nairobi to pursue either of the following programs, the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, whose registration code is I-64, Bachelor of Science in Industrial Chemistry, whose registration code is I-08, or Bachelor of Science in Analytical Chemistry, whose registration code is I-14. Your program is predetermined. The units that you do in your first year are already predetermined you will be getting information concerning these predetermined units. The only thing that I need to remind us is, you will do nine units, distributed in maths, 
physics and chemistry, and you will do three units from the Board of Common Undergraduate Courses, making a total of 12 units. And there may be additional units that we may require you to do. But your course is predetermined. The units that you will do have already been pre-selected for you. We will be giving you brochures and guidance on this particular units. So, in summary, as a first year student, you will be expected to do at least 12 units, which will be distributed in four departments for the I-20 students, for the I-64, I-08, and I-14, that program is pre-described. We will tell you which units to take. If you want to major in chemistry in your final two years, you must select chemistry in your first year, and you must also select mathematics in your first year because mathematics is a requirement. The third unit is another compulsory unit, the Board of Common Undergraduate Courses. So for those who want to major in chemistry, remember you'll only choose a fourth, a single fourth department in your first year. I know this may sound a little confusing, but we're here to assist you, kindly get in touch with us. We will give you further clarifications, further guidance on which units to take. Thank you.